Hey, I want to have a video today showing the new shade house and worm farm that I've got. Uh, built it with concrete, concrete blocks, and it has irrigation up in the up in the ceiling. I've got plenty of room for plants. Eventually, I'm going to put plants up on the uh, on pallets, but I don't have them yet. Plus, I've got a lot of plants here. Got 200 or so bananas that I just potted up this weekend. Got ice cream beans for the new plot, one acre plot. Ear pod trees. And this is Grevillea robusta trees, seedlings for that. So that's that's the uh, greenhouse. It's 12 feet wide, 26 feet long. It's got 50% uh, shade cloth and a PVC roof. Now the worm farm is out on the side. It's the same length with three lids on it that can be lifted up, tied off. It has a drain system in the bottom and this is a worm bedding which is a decomposed mulch. The lids open up and close and I noticed today we got up to about 90 degrees in there. It was a hot sunny day. Let's see. Yeah we're back down to 88 now. And the uh, the worm material that I have is decomposed mulch. I'm going to show you show you what it looks like here. I got to put a I've got to prop it up for now. Show you what this stuff looks like. Looks like looks like regular mulch on top if you're just looking at it. But it's got lots of castings from the uh, millipedes. It's gonna be a pretty good mulch, a, a pretty good uh, material for them to live in. This is uh, about 50% composted I would say and I have on the end a drain which I can catch all the uh, excess liquid it's a fertilizer too so that's the system that I've got built hopefully that will be a fertility into the future for the farm maybe even help me uh, spread worms across the farm because as I harvest the vermicompost it will contain cocoons eggs from the worms and they can spread it around that's all for now